Before performing any work on an oven, disconnect from power using proper lockout tagout procedures. Allow the oven to cool before performing any maintenance on the oven. Use proper safety equipment when working on any appliance. The information in the following video is offered to assist in the maintenance and repair of your oven as a resource only. All maintenance and repairs should be performed by a qualified technician. The user assumes the entire risk related using this information. I'm Dave Mason with Cook Shack. I work in commercial sales here and we're here today to talk about uh, delivery and startup on an SM160 electric smoker. Delivery on this product will be by freight and uh, whether, if you don't have a loading dock or a forklift you will need a lift gate added to the delivery uh, so this thing can be lowered down to the ground in a safe manner. Once the truck delivers, pulls up with your smoker, uh, the first thing that you'll need to do is uh, once you get it down to the ground, uh, the truck driver is going to want you to sign some paperwork, but what you need to do first is this thing has comes with plastic bands on it. You'll need to cut those plastic bands and uncover the smoker and inspect the outside of the smoker for damage before you sign the truck driver's paperwork. Once you've uh, turned the truck driver loose and you've got this thing down on the ground ready to take a look at it, First thing you want to do is inspect for uh, the things that come inside of it, the components that are needed for cooking. And with this model here, the 160, it comes with five nickel-plated grills and also has side racks with the five uh, slots in them to hold the grills up. And also down in the bottom, we have the uh, heating elements which are plugged in, plus there's a box here that has a drawer in it for the wood to go in. And one thing that we need to do is we need to cut this wire tie. That way we can remove the wood drawer and uh, it's tightened down there for, for shipping purposes. Also included with your SM160, you get one gallon of mild barbecue sauce, a gallon of spicy barbecue sauce. You get five pounds of rib rub, five pounds of spicy chicken rub, five pounds of brisket rub, uh, spicy barbecue sauce mix and chili mix along with 10 pound box of two to three ounce chunks of hickory to be used in the smoker. Uh, the smoker comes with a, a tool to be able to pull the wood drawer out once it's gotten hot and uh, a drip pan. Some of the other things that come with your smoker, you get an operator's manual, you get a cookbook and a registration card and along with all that you get an extra heating element just to keep on standby. When you're choosing a location to place your smoker, you can either place this smoker under a vent hood in a, in, on an indoor setting or you can uh, directly vent it to outside exhaust. As far as uh, electrical requirements, you'll need a standard three prong 120 volt plug in uh, to plug this into there. First thing we're going to do with our smoker since we've got it all assembled is we're going to do a little bit of extra seasoning on the inside. First thing we're going to do when we're getting ready to season this smoker is we're going to pull the wood drawer out. That's basically this part right here. And we're going to place uh, three two ounce chunks of wood in here. First thing we do uh, to get ready to season this thing is we're going to turn on the master switch. We're going to set the cooking temperature for it's set for 225. We're going to set the cooking time for six hours. And now we're going to hit start. Before we cook our first load of meat in here, after we've done our seasoning, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line the bottom of this with foil and cover the, the little roof over the uh, electrical elements with foil and put your wood in your wood drawer. We're also going to make sure to poke a hole right here for the drain hole in the foil and make sure that your drip pan is in place. When loading this machine with uh, products, uh, the main thing that you want to remember is to leave some room around the products for the, so that the air can flow. Um, if you have thick cuts and uh, thinner cuts, you'll probably want to put your thicker cuts on the top and your, your thinner cuts down lower. Okay, as far as regular maintenance you'll need to do to the SM160 is uh, you'll need, need to check your electrical plug occasionally for wear and tear. Uh, you'll need to oil the hinge pins on the door 
uh, once every six months and keep keep an eye on your casters make sure they all have free movement the warranty that the SM160 comes with is a two-year limited warranty which is basically you get a 30-day money-back guarantee a 90-day parts and labor and a two-year on parts